In this tutorial, I will look at applying material techniques to a simple driving game. I will look at gloss and matte finishes and ambient occlusion. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the previous tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can follow the previous tutorials and make a similar file yourself. I'm going to work on the ground plane material. First I'm going to give it a matte finish. Select the ground plane and click the material button and set the specular intensity to zero and click fast preview. Matte materials only reflect the diffuse colour and do not have specular highlights. Matte materials usually have a porous texture. Back in Blender, click the Texture Properties, click the New Texture button. Click both. We want the mapping coordinates to be UV and we have to set up the UV mapping Drag to make the timeline window bigger and change the window into a UV image editor window. I want a texture image of a normal map for a rough surface. Blend for web provide example files. Click the open image button. Go to the blend for web folder, the deploy folder the Assets folder, Material Library, Textures, turn thumbnails on, and the file that I'm going to use is noise04normal.png. Select it and open image. With the plane selected, go into Edit Mode. In the Mesh menu, UV Unwrap, unwrap. The ground plane is scaled by a factor of a hundred to make it very big and appear like an infinite plane. With the mouse pointer in the image editor window, with all the vertices selected, press A to select all if necessary, press S to scale, 50 and enter. With the UV mapping set up, go back into object mode. In the properties window, scroll down. In the image sampling panel, click normal map. Click the browse image button and select the noise image. Unclick diffuse and click geometry. The texture is automatically repeated and even if the image tessellates seamlessly you can see a repeating pattern like carpet tiles. Reducing the influence can reduce the effect. I'm going to set it to 0.6 and click fast preview. We get a matte material with a pitted surface. In the scene there is one camera and it is pointing down at the ground. You cannot see the sky but as the game is developed other cameras will be added so I'm going to set up a very simple sky. Click the world properties, click render sky and set the horizon red value to 0.2 the green to 0.3 and the blue to 0.4. Zooming in with the mouse wheel and selecting the ramp, click the material properties, click the new material button. I'm going to call the new material concrete. To give the concrete a matte finish, set the specular intensity to zero. Click Texture Properties, click the New Texture button and click both. 
We want mapping coordinates UV. Scroll down, click Open Image, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Deploy folder, Assets, Material Library, Natural. Click Thumbnails. The file I'm going to use is gypsumnormal.png. Select it and Open Image. Click Diffuse to deselect it and click Geometry and in the Image Sampling panel click Normal Map. To set up the UV mapping, click the Browse Image button and select the Gypsum Normal Texture. Go into Edit Mode and press A twice so that all the vertices are selected. In the Mesh menu, UV Unwrap Smart UV Project. Accept the defaults and click OK. With the mouse pointer in the UV Image Editor window, press A to select all vertices. To scale the mapping to match the texture, press S to scale and I found a value of 8 was OK. Go back into Object Mode, select the Platform, click the Material button, click the Browse Material button and select the Concrete Material. Before I set up the UV mapping for the platform, because it is scaled long and thin, in the Object menu, Apply, Scale, Click the Browse Image button, select the Gypsum Normal Texture, go into Edit Mode. All the vertices are selected, so in the Mesh menu, UV Unwrap, Smart UV Project. Accept the defaults, click OK. Press A to select all, S to scale, and I'm going to use the same scale factor of 8, and Enter. Go back into Object Mode, select one of the monkey statues. I'm going to give the statues a glossy finish to make them look like they're made out of plastic or have been painted with a high gloss paint. Change the shading to smooth for both statues. The statues use four materials. For each one, I'm going to set the specular shader model toward ISO. And click Fast Preview. The statues now appear glossy and the concrete has a matte textured finish but it looks too clean so back in Blender I'm going to add ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion doesn't work with 2D planes. To make the ground plane into a 3D mesh select it, go into edit mode, press E to extrude 1 and enter Go back into Object Mode, press G for Grab, Z for the Z-axis, minus 1 and Enter. Ambient Occlusion only works with objects that are set to receive shadows. Select the Ramp and click Receive Shadows, select the Platform and click Receive Shadows, and clicking Fast Preview. Just turning Receive Shadows on gives a darker, more varied material than when the objects just cast shadows. Going back to Blender and in Render Properties, turning Ambient Occlusion on and clicking Fast Preview. The scene is darker and more varied than without ambient occlusion. With ambient occlusion. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website.
To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.